After a strong competitive season in 2013, Jonathan De La Rosa has been looking ahead to next season and realizing the need to put on mass in order to continue to move up through the pro ranks. This past winter, the 29-year-old bodybuilder has embarked on a bulking program. It's fairly typical this time of year for most bodybuilders to worry less about fat loss and concentrate on muscle gain. But this time, John has incorporated some refinements to his diet and exercise program that he feels has made a difference. John De La Rosa is in pursuit of perfection. When it comes to gaining muscle, there are two schools of thought. There are those who believe in using heavy weights, and there are those who believe that high repetition, also known as high volume, is the way to go. Tonight and for the past few months, John has been combining both disciplines into a heavyweight high volume workout that has been taxing, painful, difficult, and productive. Most people that do volume training end up lowering their weight significantly and doing a lot more exercises. So I guess what I'm doing is like a heavy volume training. It's basically, you know, you're using a lot of weight, but you're also doing a, a, a ton of different movements for that one body part. So you're really taxing the muscle and taxing your central nervous system and, and really making your body work. You know, I haven't been this sore during my workouts in a long time. I mean, I'm in pain of how sore I am, which is good, you know, it's a different style of training and I think it's um, recruiting more muscle fiber during my workouts and in turn that's going to turn into muscle growth. I got a deadlift barefoot because, I don't know if you can see there, my foot hangs over the side because I got fat feet, <laughs> I got Flintstone feet, so it's not really optimal when you're deadlifting because it's easy to roll. So I take my shoes off, deadlift barefoot. I know a lot of people like to deadlift or do back without straps, but for me it helps to get a better contraction in my back. Instead of focusing more on pulling with my arms, because my arms tend to take over most of the action, put these straps on, lock it in, kind of let go and just do the work, let your back do the work. So that's the idea behind this. see the approach has been a little bit different than in the past. Normally I would have probably ended off with deadlifts. Maybe we did work my way up to five plates and three or four um, sets of this. But uh, I would have been you know, bouncing it off the ground and kind of using momentum to get me through the exercise. Now I'm starting off with it at the beginning where we're doing a lot more sets with it. Um, really really focusing on our form and contracting the back at the top of the movement, all through the movement really. And then from here we move on to several other exercises that just keep pumping a ton of blood into that area. By the time I'm done with this workout, it's funny, I don't know whether I'm gonna die, pass out, <laughs> throw up, but it's not a great feeling, but I know it's working. <laughs> Setting it down after each rep, 
going out, bouncing off the ground, coming back up. It's up, set it down, back up, set it down. A little bit more difficult that way. First time Sean and I did this workout, I was kneeling at the altar right there, bent, leaned over the bench the whole time. I got home, just threw myself on the couch. I was panting, couldn't catch my breath. And so I was like, are you okay, are you okay? I'm like, I just need water. Couldn't catch my breath until the next morning. This workout's nuts. build to a climax. This one starts intense and stays intense, finally winding down at the end simply because the muscles and the athlete can do no more. But technique is never neglected. These are heavy weights and this kind of training can be dangerous. Concentration and focus are essential in order to avoid injury. Do not attempt this workout unless you have gotten professional instruction in proper deadlifting technique. I was pulling with everything I had. I could. Even with a workout like this, the training is only one part of the program. This part of my off season, I've been, you know, I've been eating quite a bit of calories, but all from clean foods. Right now, I'm about 5,000, 5,000 calories a day, um, and mostly from same kind of foods that I would be dieting down on. Except now, I'm adding like sauces to them, you know, tomato sauce to my, you know, chicken, or um, maybe sometimes I add a little of. Uh, like olive oil or macadamia nut oil, stuff like that into my, into my diet. I'm eating whole eggs as opposed to egg whites, things like that. And then on the supplementation side, you know, I'm, I'm also taking more protein in, you know, so instead of taking, let's say something like uh, three scoops when I'm dieting down for, or yeah, three scoops when I'm dieting down for a show, now I'm taking, you know, a protein shake uh, two, two, three times a day. So that's, you know, six to nine scoops of protein a day. I'm taking in a ton of creatine. I'm also consuming a lot of dark matter, which is a great post-workout carbohydrate drink. And uh, I'm also taking a lot of my, of my OX. But it's pretty pretty basic with me. I don't really do the you know the crazy. I do have my cheat meals, obviously. You know, it's my off season. I want to enjoy a little bit, but I don't really go out there and just eat whatever's available. I don't think that's the right way to go about it either. One because of you don't really know what's working, and two, your long-term health. You know, we're, we're putting our bodies under a lot of stress with what we do anyways. So when you're eating McDonald's, pizza, you know, yeah, you're putting on size maybe a little bit quicker than I am, but at the same time, you're also doing a lot more damage to your arteries and, you know, so I'm thinking a little bit long-term, which is, you know, I, I tend to do that a bit. <laughs> John's winter bulking routine worked well, a little too well. The heaviest I got this off season was 286, which was uh, it was uncomfortable to say the least. <laughs> I, you know, walking around, my lower back would start to hurt. Um, right now I'm about 274, so I feel a lot better. After once I broke 280, it was like I was just uncomfortable. I couldn't breathe. I'm having a hard time breathing now, but it's because we're exercising. 
to take 10 steps and I was like out of breath. My back was hurting. I couldn't sleep good. Uncomfortable, but, but a necessary evil to make the gains that I needed to make, you know? Though it was difficult and painful, for John, the heavy volume experiment has paid off in new growth he will put to use this coming competitive season. His first test comes on April 25th in Rio at the Arnold Classic Brazil. It was interesting for me because like, I haven't, not that I lost that fire of training because I love to train, but it became kind of stale to me. It was kind of like, okay, I, I know what I'm gonna do, you know, let's go in the gym, we get it done. Now this is kind of like a challenge. This is like, wow, this is, you know, I got a lot, a lot to do here, and, and you know, can I, can I do this? You know, you're, you're constantly pushing yourself, so it's become, you know, fun again. <laughs> we got one more set. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons why I'm excited for this year. Like last year, I was coming into this stage of my life where I had all this responsibility with my store and you know, I had become a, I felt a little bit more comfortable being a pro. My biggest problem is understanding what I'm capable of and you know, I don't like to sound like that guy who's cocky or whatever and, I'm, and it's never gonna be me. You know, you always hear people say to me, you know, I'm not confident in myself and, and maybe I'm not, uh, probably I'm, I'm not, but. I am becoming more confident in myself and I am understanding that I am more capable of better things in the sport. It's been week after week of diligent hard work. It's cost me $15 a day in the toll, it cost me money and gas, you know, and there's been days I can't make it because I don't have money to come, but every time I have $15 to come, I come and make it, you know, so it's worth it. Hey guys, you want to get big and win some cash? I'm John De La Rosa, and I'm here to talk to you about the MyOX Bigger Than Nature Intended Transformation Challenge. In the past year, thanks to MHP's MyOX Myostatin Inhibitor, I bulked up to over 280 pounds. It's the biggest I've ever been in my life. After placing top five at the New York Pro last year, the one thing the judges told me was that I needed to get bigger. So I diligently took MyOX, and I'm convinced that it helped me exceed every expectation that I had for bulking up this off season. And it's not just me. Victor Martinez put on a ton of muscle this year, and so did Marco Rivera. Now it's your turn. Join me in getting huge, and also take a shot at winning three grand. Visit the MHP website today, and enter the MyWex Bigger Than Nature Intended Transformation Contest. Take a shot at finally gaining the size you've always wanted, and winning a piece of over $10,000 in total prizes. And as an added bonus as part of the contest, I'll be providing you guys with my Get Huge tips. I'll show you everything I did this past off season to put on over 20 pounds of muscle training, supplementation, you name it, it'll all be there. So join the Transformation Challenge now and be a part of this great muscle building experience. So enter today at mhbstrong.com. And don't forget guys, follow us on Facebook at OfficialMHB.